by cutting this tree down. Maybe it was maybe it was a bad stem. Well, I see a wound over here. Maybe it was decayed. Does it look decayed though? Does it look like a, a diseased tree? Well, I, I can't tell from what's Without, left. From what's yeah. left. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure the roots probably extended to the edge. But uh, I I would imagine it's not going to help not to have this tree here. <laughs> That's mostly all I can tell. Yeah, because I mean, it, it was a large tree. This tree, that root system, and the the canopy would have been significant, Probably. especially when you're talking about really severe weather, and you have a lot of rain. So you had that drip line that's being removed, right? Oh sure. Yeah. And so yeah. there's a lot of stormwater mitigation that's affected in something like this, correct? I imagine so. Yeah, yeah. This, thankfully, you know, they don't. There's not a lot of activity in here, but yeah, any tree cover is going to help stabilize the, the cover. Yeah. yeah, so if the DEP and their coastal people want these trees to stay here for some stabilization, you're talking when there is a f extreme weather events. I understand about the erosion from the lake below, but we're talking about the extreme weather events come from up there. They're coming, huge rains come, and when you eliminate those canopies in the drip line and you're flooding that's not going to help stabilization in the washing. upper area yeah. Yeah. the bottom is going to definitely continue to erode but there is still a maintenance that could have been considered for extreme weather events but the bottom line is the DEP's recommendation was definitely disregarded in this spot yeah I imagine so yeah, yeah. I imagine so If, that's, that's there. Huh? That's so if, if they uh, were addressing cool. hazardous trees, this is definitely a tree of hazard, This is right? definitely a hazard tree. <laughs> it was left. This is one to cut down, yeah. Okay. I mean, actually, it has it right on the website. So. The Code of Ethics for the... For foresters, for members, yeah. Thoughts on what they did to a raccoon park with the logging? I think it's ridiculous because they're taking away the habitat for the animals and, the, and even the eagles that live down here. And that was one of the things that was addressed in the DEP letter, the, the habitat. And they were supposed to stay about 100 feet back from the bluff. They're not. They're even taking the shade trees down up, up there. And, uh, sad, right? Mm -hmm. Very sad. Yeah, I, I did to? talk to somebody from the township who works for the township that I see every day that called these people that were against us tree huggers. You know, but, so like it was a bad thing. I think it was, they rushed in here, took some logs, and thought that was going to, you know, pad their pockets with some log money. But I don't think it really happened because a, the cleanup's going to cost more than logs are worth, you know. I really think so.